14. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Begin with verse 14. Amen. Amen. And verse 14 reads, Now we exalt you, brother. May God bless his word. My views are subject today. Become a thanks giver. Become a thanks giver. Amen. We should always give thanks. Mm -hmm. This is the week of Thanksgiving. Our family will be gathered around the table okay. and give thanks. People will say a prayer that will not say it in the entire year. Somebody say amen. 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 But somehow we feel we need to thank God for at least one meal. Oh, yes. We need to give you more than a thousand meals a year. Y'all need praying for me? All right, Pastor. Mm -hmm. But a lot of us, that's the only day that we pray over our meal is Thanksgiving Day. Mm -hmm. Now, Sister Demery, that tells me that there are 365 days in a year. Mm -hmm. We eat three meals a day, mm -hmm. where most of us do. I've never been a breakfast person myself. Always get up early, early eat and just roll. So in one year, you have not blessed 1,094 meals. Shame on you. Shame. Think about this. God has given you 1,095 meals. There's the only thing for one. Thanksgiving time. Lord have mercy. Or y'all might understand what I'm saying by Friday. Let's break down the word Thanksgiving in two parts. One part says thanks. Mm -hmm. The other part says giving. Yes. I said the other half says giving. Mm -hmm. If God is the rule of your heart, you will have no trouble becoming a thanksgiver. Mm -hmm. First Thessalonians chapter 5. The text for today. This book was written by Apostle Paul. In this passage, Paul is talking to the Thessalonian church about their behavior, mm -hmm. about their rejection of the gospel, mm -hmm. about their confusion of the second coming of Christ. Amen. You see, church, you can't sit around and worry about those that's gone on before you. Right. Because if they died in Christ, the Bible says they will Return with Christ and be called with all of us in the clouds. All right. That means we all be together again. So why sit around worried about them? You need to be worried about trying to get yourself yeah. in line with God. So if you're going to get caught up, you're not going to be caught up in the cloud. All right. <laughs> Somebody say amen. Amen. Verse 14 says, Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly. Comfort the people of mind. Mm -hmm. And he said, talk about them. He said, comfort them. Comfort, yes. Support the weak. Mm -hmm. Be patient toward all men. Mm -hmm. Unruly is the first part of the scripture. In other words, church, the church, mm -hmm. one, comfort the people of mind, the faint and hard people. Mm -hmm. Support those who don't have a proper understanding regarding Christ and the cross. See, everybody don't understand what that means. Right. If you know, it helps somebody else understand. Yes. yes. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. And make them understand what it means to that everyday walk of life before God. Mm -hmm. Be patient with them. That's a good one. Oh, you hold it down. Mm -hmm. Now. But it was just a few minutes ago Y'all ain't gonna pray for All me. Right. And you were doing the same thing. Oh, wow. Now you're dying to those people. Mm -hmm. Be careful about that. The Bible says, be patient with them. They bathed in Christ. The Bible is filled with warnings. All through the Bible, there's warnings. 
where we have become so selfish and so ungrateful that we think the scriptures are meant for everyone else but us. Yeah, that's right. Are you talking about me? <laughs> yes, I am. Or we think we're being picked on. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. I'm not going back out there. Mm -hmm. All he does is pick on me. No, ma'am. No, sir. The word of God is supposed to prick your heart mm -hmm. and make you do better and be a better person. Right. It got nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. It's what does say the Lord. Yeah, right. I got a question for you. How can you grow spiritually? If you don't acknowledge your shortcomings. Mm -hmm. I know mine better than you do. And I acknowledge mine. Every day, we overlook our shortcomings. But we recognize everybody else's. True. True. She should have. Mm -hmm. And he could have. Mm -hmm. Well, you, this is stuff you should have been doing. Mm -hmm. And could be doing. Okay. And not doing. All right, Pastor. Worry about everybody else. That's right. And point fingers at someone... We feel it lower than we are. Mm, mm, mm. You're not so high, baby. That's right. God said not so. Every day I see men and women, Lord, it makes me want to cry. Mm. Because for some reason they feel in their little minds, this place, earth, is their home forever. Well, I'll stop by to tell you that it's not. Now, they can just live any kind of way. They want to live. Wrong again. You cannot. That's right. This place is not your home. That's right. I'm just a barren man passing through a barren land. Mm -hmm. Now I guess somebody must have told him that lie. Well, I think about it. Somebody did. Satan did. Uh -huh. He tells you this is your home. Well, in his eyesight, this is it. Mm -hmm. But in God's eyesight, there's a better home above this home. It's called heaven. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to get. Now, I can't convince them that it's not true. Mama could convince them. Daddy could convince them. Grandma could convince them. Even Jesus mm, mm, mm. could convince them That's right. that this place is not their home. Amen. So people go on their merry way, living in their own little world, a selfish world, for themselves, feeding their poor no more. Mm -hmm. That's something else we got to stop. We take care of ours. But what about mine? Mm -hmm. What about somebody else less fortunate? Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving Day, we have all this food. Next day, we eat on a little bit. The next day, we throw it away. Mm -hmm. Well, Thanksgiving Day, you could have fed somebody else. Amen. There would be none to throw away. Amen. Right. See, these people have no idea how joyful it is to become Thanksgivers. When you ask them to give of their time, you call them a lot to you. Mm -hmm. Well, I would, but. But. <laughs> you keep butting. All right. Lord, help me, baby. <laughs> when you ask them to give of their tithes and offerings, Lord, that's, that's a hard one. They say, well, Pastor, you know I got to pay my rent. Uh -huh. Well, baby, God bless you. To get the house. Amen. You should least think about God when it comes time to die. When you ask them to worship with you, mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. They do sick. But they go and party. Mm -hmm. They go to the boat. Mm -hmm. They go to the game. Well. Yes, sir. <laughs> to the track. <laughs> the reason this word is such a mess, y'all, is because we've erased the word guilt out of our vocabulary. Mm -hmm. we, we take. Mm -hmm. That's all we do is take. Okay. It's not Thanksgiving, it's Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't praying for me? All right. I said Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. It's a gimme world. Uh -huh. Give me this, give me that. Give me, give me. Mm -hmm. We want it and we want it now. Mm -hmm. All we know is take, hand out, and never hand over. If you got the hand out, you're trying to receive something. But if you got the hand over, you give somebody else something. All right. Well, I'm not picking on y'all, but God already knows amen. what's important to you. It ain't him. Amen. Somebody say amen. Ouch. It ain't your brother. Ouch. It ain't about God's house. Ouch. 
It's all about selfish, selfishness. I thank God every day for you faithful members. You sustain the church. You take care of God's house. And when it comes to comforting the people minded and supporting the weak, we come to things different. That way, you lay up treasures in heaven. Somebody say amen. amen. Give up yourself. Be patient. Your time of need is coming soon. It may be somebody else today, but it could be you tomorrow. Somebody That's say amen. 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 Give your works. Mm -hmm. People won't mind helping you. Yes. When your time comes. Yes. Baby, you won't be young forever. Oh, isn't that the truth? I know now. <laughs> Lord, help me today. Mm -hmm. I preached something one time. I wish I knew what I know now when I was younger. I wouldn't be such a fool when y'all ain't talking to me when I was young. <laughs> so if you keep living, somebody would need to hold your hand right. because you got out of walk. Mm -hmm. So y'all ain't praying for me now. Right. You keep on living. Mm -hmm. Somebody need to speak for you because you forgot how to talk. Mm -hmm. Or every day. Yes. If you keep on living, somebody would need to Lord, for mercy, help your, wipe your mouth. Or wipe your, are y'all ain't? Just to watch, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Change your clothes for you. Mm -hmm. So become a Thanksgiving. Yes. While you can. Mm -hmm. Give her your time while you can. Mm -hmm. Live your treasure in heaven now. Why you can. Yes. The next part of the scripture says, be patient toward all men. Mm -hmm. We forget that we were once young. Yes, right. that's true. Our parents, I said our parents called us bad. Mm -hmm. They did. <laughs> we forgot, ladies, that Lord help me today. <laughs> that once we kissed the boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> we forgot men that once we kissed the girl. Uh -huh. But now the kids do it now, they bad. <laughs> that don't make them bad, that make them curious. So I said, thank you. I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. We forget that God never meant man to be alone. That was God's rule. Mm -hmm. He built us to be mates. Yes, he did. So to me, that means one man and one woman equal one couple. Make that clear. Y'all ain't gonna break me today. We'll make that clear. And if they follow the commandments of God, mm -hmm. what? That couple will become a happy family one day. Yes. That is blessed by God. Yes. Somebody say amen. 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 Somebody yes. say amen again. Amen. Be patient yes. with those who are seeking to know God. Yes. Don't be so quick to judge them. Mm -hmm. If you run a tender Christian away from the church. Go hold you accountable. That's the truth. How can you do that by your mouth? Uh -huh. Yes. I can't believe she mm -hmm. in here. She can't believe you in here either. Because y'all would get all me. Lord have mercy. Biblical Christianity is the only system in the world, I watch this, that practice no evil people. Biblical Christianity is the only system in the world that practices no evil or evil. Every other system in the world practices dog eat dog. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's politics, mm -hmm. I don't care what it is. Mm -hmm. The Christianity in the Bible is the only system that preaches and practices no evil no. or evil. No. Lord have mercy. Yes. Even our own enemies. Mm -hmm. It says to all men, it didn't just say your chosen few. Right. It said to all men, have a given heart. Oh, yeah. Sister Max got to <laughs> she get a bank away. <laughs> I got a given heart too. I give my last dime. If you say you need it, I give it to you. Amen. Sometimes a person can be nice. When they have a hidden motive. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear what I said? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
right. when you have a good motive. Right. And sometimes a person can just let the, the joy of God just shine through. Mm -hmm. So don't misunderstand. Now, everybody not have bad motives, right. bad right. reasons. That's right. That's right. Now, if you watch that person, you'll be able to see their motives are self-serving. Mm -hmm. Because if you give evil, baby, you'll get evil in return. Mm -hmm. I know that for a fact. That's right. I tried it. Don't ask God where evil came from. Mm -hmm. His word clearly said, if you reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. Paul said, don't just be good to those under your roof. Yes. Be good to somebody else's. Mm -hmm. Be kind to everyone. Mm -hmm. Become a thanksgiver. Mm -hmm. A giver of thanks. Mm -hmm. Look for people to bless. Don't wait. For them to come to you, you go to them. Yes. Well, I didn't know she did anything. Now, yes, you did. Mm. Just because she didn't ask you. Mm. Mm -mm. Maybe her pride not allowing her to ask you. Mm. But you get off your pride. Mm -hmm. I'll sit the pride. Mm -hmm. and, talk today <laughs> and ask them. Yes. Baby, can I help you? Mm. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, you ain't got to ask. Just give it. Yeah. Just give it. Just do it. Just do it. Verse 16 says this, rejoice ever more. Sounds like a long time, right? Mm -hmm. World of heat. A true believer has every reason to rejoice in spite of the everyday problems. But I got problems of my own, so mm -hmm. you know a God that can solve yours and theirs. That's what you say. Because I know where God had brought me from. Mm -hmm. Sister Maggie. From the bottom to the top. Mm -hmm. From sinking to rise no more. Yes. Talking about me now. Yes. That's why I can maintain a joyful spirit. Yes. That's why I can have a prideful mind. Mm -hmm. That's why I can exhibit a thankful attitude. These should be goals of all believers in Christ. Yes, yes. Because they are God's will for all believers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you got to focus and have faith in God. That's the only way you ever know. Mm -hmm. Stay focused on God. Yes. But how can you rejoice when you have no God in you? Oh, wow. <laughs> Lord, have me today. For God to meet your needs, you should meet the needs of others. Yes. Be a thanks giver. giver. Yes. Maybe just try for one day. Mm -hmm. Become a thanks giver. Yes. Give without expecting anything in return. Mm -hmm. And watch God bless you. Yes. I'm a living witness, church. Yes. God, don't do it to earn anything from God except His praise. Mm -hmm. Don't do it to make money. Mm -hmm. But you'll be shocked and surprised when you see what God will do for you. Yes. Give it to the hurts. Mm -hmm. That means give your last. Mm -hmm. And bless them with flow. Yes. Look at verse 17. It says, pray without ceasing. Oh. That means stay in constant state of perfect prayer. Yes. A proud word of encouragement should always be on your lips. Always. Always. Forget about everything. Always. Always. Ask which direction you should turn. Always. Always. Ask God if you should trust a particular person. Always. Always. Ask God first. Yeah. Ask God anything. Mm -hmm. Because he knows you better than you know yourself. Yes. Right. He knows your body. Yes. He even knows the numbers of hair on your head. Yes. And mind you, a lot of you to count nowadays. <laughs> Y'all ain't talking to me. <laughs> One more verse. Look at verse 18. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ. Jesus concerning you. Lord have me today. No matter what happens in your life. Yes. No matter how negative things may seem to be. No matter how rough your road may get. We'll never to stop giving thanks. To the Lord, which is the will of God. Mm -hmm. In every event, every circumstance, the 
first of all, we to give thanks to God. For the God that he is serving will bring you out of everything you can get into. Mm -hmm. Pleasant or unpleasant. Mm -hmm. Because it comes to the attitude of pride. pride. We have to believe or maintain gratitude in the face of adversity. So we come and thank him as a child of God. This is the will of God. Yes. And we come to thank you for you spread peace and joy and love. <coughs> Just like Jesus did to us all for three days on the cross. And he hung and died. But he rose on that third day morning with all power. And I thank God he rose. And I thank God for Jesus. Mm -hmm. So church become a thanks giver. The doors of the church open. But that be one today. That when it comes to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. But that be one today. Would you stand please? But please don't wait for time and out on your side. But that be one. God loves you so much. He waited for you so long. If you just come. But that be one. Oh God love you and we love you too.